for new stories for you firstly viewers we have uh, a new story from south sudan uh, ethiopian neighbor where in ethnic violence uh, more than two dozen innocent civilians have been killed secondly ethiopian pm abi just a few hours ago arrived in somali region of ethiopia Mustafa a Somali president welcomed him thirdly uh, Oromo released uh, leaders Jawar Bekle Gerba Hamza Burana uh, have visited uh, an Oromo singer and they have visited family of a late Oromo singer too lastly we have an update uh, from Tigray a far border Tigray forces are penetrating deep into Afar now they seem to have advanced from Abala in eastern direction we have some updates for you firstly your south sudan uh, ethiopian neighbor which gained independence in 2011 is still very destabilized selva kid and raik machar are sharing power uh, both are rivals uh, selva kid is president raik machar is uh, vice president they have signed uh, two peace deals they have tried to form coalition governments but uh, violence is not coming to an end in south sudan despite several efforts South Sudan has not been able to form a unified military so far. No national assembly has been formed in South Sudan as well. Militias uh, loyal to Raik Machar and Selva Kir keep on fighting each other. We have this new story from Jonglei state of South Sudan where in ethnic clashes 32 persons have been killed and 26 have been wounded ethnic clashes erupted between merle tribe and dinka boar tribe reportedly Mal- uh, uh, merle tribe uh, fighters attacked dinka boar uh, uh people and in these attacks more than two dozen civilians were killed if you remember a few days ago merle tri fighters attacked some areas in ethiopia to gambala police commissioner held a press briefing he had said that in some attacks from sudan side of the border from south sudan side of the border by merle tri uh, fighters uh seven ethiopian individuals were killed so once again merle tribe is involved in this ethnic conflict in which 32 uh, killings are being reported so far secondly viewers uh, ethiopian pm abi just a few hours ago landed in somali region in jigjiga he was received by mustafa umar somali region's president uh, you can see some pictures on your screen pm abi is in somali region he is due to visit some drought affected areas he is due to meet those people who are drought affected in previous videos we pointed out that somali region oromia region parts of oromia region uh they have been severely affected by drought this year one of the worst droughts in recent years is being seen in somali region where uh, humans uh, animals cattle all are dying because of this drought so he is there to address this important uh, problem which is being faced by somali region thirdly viewers jawar bakle garba hamza burana today visited uh, ali bera uh, romo singer who was hospitalized a few days ago later he was discharged you can see pictures on your screen 
Yavar, Bakle, Hamza Burana visited uh, Ali Bira and asked about his health. Adi Sababa Mir also visited Ali Bira. Adanech Babe, you can see her pictures. She also met with uh, Ali Bira and asked about his health. Uh, Jawar and Bakle Garba offered condolences to the family of Noho Gabana as well. Noho Gabana, Oromo singer who died uh, a few days ago. Jawar Bakle Garba visited their family, visited his family and offered their condolences. Now, lastly, viewers, Tigray forces uh, are in Afar. They are penetrating deep into Afar, though they have uh, uh, an earlier experience of uh, penetration into Afar, which did not go well. They suffered losses, they had to retreat. Once again, they are trying to make inroads into Afar. They have now entered Rabiti Vareda, which is to the east of Abala and Magale. Have a look at this map. On this map, you can see Rabati, which is situated to the east of uh, Abala and Magale. It means Tigray forces are in control of Abala and Magale, and from Abala and Magale, they are moving towards uh, Rabati. Uh, and yesterday, a far regional government talked about TDF's attack on uh, Birhale front as well. Near Asada, fighting was being reported. So, Birhale, Af uh, Abala, Magale, and Arabati. Now, there is fighting uh, going on in these four places in Afar. Now, uh, what is the military objective of TDF's entry in Afar? TDF cannot uh, hold on to its territorial gains in Afar. People will be displaced uh, and Afars will fight back. So far, we have not heard of any Don Stikes, Air Stikes uh, on this front. It means that uh, ENDF is not deployed on this front. What we have learned so far that ENDF is not deployed on this front. That is why perhaps no use of drones, uh, no use of airstrikes. But it's uh, very difficult for TDFs to make inroads into Afar to gain territories and to remain in control of these places. Then what is the purpose of this entry in Afar? People say that uh, Afar fighters try to take control of Milazat uh, inside Tigray. Uh, that is why Tigray forces are not trying to teach Afar a lesson. They are trying to take control of some areas. They want to ensure that uh, Afar fighters don't enter Tigray in future. Uh, well, uh, both Tigray and Afar will have to make peace on this front. Both stand uh, nothing to gain on, on this front. Even if Afar fighters enter Tigray, they cannot go deep towards Makale. And now when Tigray fighters are in Afar, they can't reach uh, Aratia, they can't reach uh, Ethiopia, Djibouti road. So both sides will have to make peace here, otherwise they'll keep on fighting, civilians will be killed, they'll be killing each other. There is no military objective uh, which the two parties can achieve on this front. They'll have to settle down and uh, they'll have to... Uh, uh, revert uh, to their positions, uh, which their border positions are. Otherwise, uh, there's no point in fighting here. Animosity will increase, hostilities will increase, uh, and uh, aid delivered to Tigray, it will remain blocked because uh, Ethiopian government will have a pretext that uh, since fighting is going on uh, on Tigray far border, that is why delivery is not possible uh, of aid to Tigray. So, Tigray should also show restraint here uh, because uh, their only route uh, available for supplies uh, passes through Afar. Let's see. Uh, will Tigray move further from uh, Rabati in eastern direction? That remains to be seen. But so far, uh, they are in control of Abala and uh, Magale. That is why they have managed to enter Rabati. And now, whatever is happening, 
most of the fighting is in Rewati and people are being displaced from Rewati. It means they are in control of uh, Abal and Meghale. And that was confirmed yesterday by a far regional government as well, which said that uh, Tigray uh, fighters were in control of uh, Abala and Meghale. Now they are moving from Abala Meghale, uh, Abala Meghale in eastern direction towards Arabity. They have entered Arabity. But I personally think that both Tigray forces and Afar fighters, uh, they have no military objectives to achieve on this front. They should make peace. Otherwise, civilians will be killed. They'll keep on killing each other. 